Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how I finally managed to fix the multi-monitor issues that I've been having with KDE Plasma 5. Now, a little bit of background on this. Uh, those of you that have been watching my recent videos know that uh, I switched over to OpenSUSE uh, KDE Plasma 5 not too long ago as my main desktop. Originally, I installed uh, OpenSUSE Leap 42.1 really liked it I think it's an awesome desktop setup one issue I kept running into though is since I run dual monitors there is a KDE bug that when you boot into your session sometimes uh, KDE does not recognize that you are running multiple monitors and so you got one monitor that is just a blank screen now you can go and move your mouse over it and you can see that the mouse you know that you know you can see the mouse on the screen but if you try right clicking the desktop you know there, there is no desktop there um, so and, and kind of the funny thing about it is you can go and log out and log back in when you log back in you've got your second desktop available but okay first of all that's annoying to deal with that you've got a you know boot up get into your session then log out log back in so that you can use your desktop second of all if you've got any widgets or panels or anything like that on that secondary desktop when you log back in all that stuff is in random places it may be on that secondary monitor where it belongs it may be on the primary monitor I had a few times since I run a panel at the top of both monitors I had a couple of times where when I booted back in the panels were stacked on top of each other on the primary monitor and I played around with the the uh, display settings in plasma you know tried all kinds of different things nothing seemed to fix it so I started doing a little research on it and I read that in newer versions of, uh, of KDE Plasma and uh, that would be KDE Plasma 5.6 and up that the issue had been at the very least improved and and part of the issue uh, went back to the QT version um, which you know you with QT 5.6 it addressed this multi-monitor issue. I thought, great. What I will do is upgrade to OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, which is going to have the latest stable version of, uh, of KDE, of QT, all that kind of stuff. So I did a fresh install of Tumbleweed, and lo and behold, that bug is still here. So I decided well you know is this an open source issue is this a KDE issue so on other partitions of my hard drive I installed um, I installed Kubuntu um, what else did I I did a uh, I did an arch install um, you know couple of couple of different uh, distros loan you know this the, and long story short this is a KDE issue it wasn't just uh, had to do with uh, KDE on OpenSUSE so after doing some more research found the essentially the easiest way to fix the displays is to just completely ignore what KDE wants to do and manually configure uh, uh, your X org uh, through the text files and you know this right here which is your display configuration through KDE just completely ignore that thing so that's what I'm going to show you how to do so to do this first of all going to need to open your file manager and then adjust your settings if need be so that you can view your hidden files we are going to go to home dot local share come down to where it says K screen and go into that folder and you will find a configuration file here you can delete this um, this is what is causing us problems now when I initially did this I went and just moved those uh, those files to another folder just in case I might need them but it ended up you know everything was fine you could just delete them anyway so after doing that now you are going to go into your root and then to etc x11 and xorg.config.d 
uh, into that folder and then from there we are going to mess with the uh, 50 dash monitor config and let me just open that And let me, uh, we'll, we'll enlarge the font a little bit, make it a little easier to read. And you can see that this little thing that I wrote up here in this, uh, in this text file, I essentially just copied and pasted it down here into this configuration file. Now, where did I come up with this? Well, first of all, I found some great information over at the arch wiki i will leave links to that page down below so you can go there and it gave me some great examples of um, uh, how to set up the uh, the monitors now as far as the information that i needed as far as um, you know the what each monitor was labeled and that sort of thing you can find that let me go and drag over this monitor and now oh, once again let's enlarge the font so it's a little easier for you guys to read and you can use a tool called xrandr so just type in xrandr enter and it will tell you all kinds of information about uh, about your uh, about your monitors and how they're set up and all that kind of stuff and so you can see here and I know, you know, which of my monitors is hooked up with an HDMI, which is hooked up with a DVI, you know, are they to the left and right of each other, that sort of thing. So this information right here, you know, it allowed me to say, okay, uh, HDMI-0 is what my HDMI monitor is. So, you know, and it was essentially, you know, copying that information over into this format here. And then the same thing with the DVI and then under option I could say that yes it is to the left of the HDMI monitor I wrote all this up copied and pasted into that uh, into that configuration file um, now you know since that is within the root you will need uh, administrative privileges so that you can get in here and, and modify this file but essentially it was copying and pasting that into this file saving it and boom everything has been fixed ever since then um, the other day when when I actually made this change I rebooted probably 30 different times trying to get uh, you know trying to see if I could force it to not open correctly it was always fine ever after yeah well can't talk this afternoon Wow uh, not enough coffee um, but anyway everything was fine after that no issues with widgets and panels and all that stuff moving around so uh, it has worked out great so definitely check this out if you are running multi monitors and uh, uh, are on KDE and running into the same kind of issue anyway that finishes up the video hopefully it helps you out uh, if you got any questions comments all that kind of stuff leave it down below I try to get to you as soon as possible if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe, share this on social media so all your friends get to see it. And as always, I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.